Hi guys, Amy here. You probably know I'm not the biggest fan of Transformers Prime, but I do love small accessory like Transformers, especially Minicons. That's why I would like to introduce you to my favorite part of Transformers Prime, the Arms Microns. Arms Microns were a concept introduced in the Japanese toy line of Transformers Prime. Each figure, instead of having a normal accessory, came with a plastic screw and a set of stickers that if assembled gave the Transformer a little mini partner that could form a weapon, combine with other minicons for super weapon modes or the bigger Transformers for special, even weirder arms up modes. The reason for the introduction of microns in the toy line was explained in an interview with Dengeki Hobby magazine. Takashi Nakase said that by adding a customizing aspect, he wanted to attract a group of 7 to 9 year olds since Transformers was mostly popular either with really small kids or their dads who were fans for a long time, while Hironori Kobayashi added that all the weapon combinations and super modes were inspired by them seeing kids playing with the movie toys and seeing that most of the fun came from mixing and matching different accessories. And I fully agree with them. Who as a kid didn't just steal all the weapons from your toy box to turn one of your toys into one-man army Rambo? From the plot side of things, arm microns are differentiated from normal minicons by being born from weapons that were irradiated by unique strands of energon that grew on Earth. Now the little living weapons assist the larger partners as their weapons, while keeping their real identity a secret. But sometimes they also chill in like an apartment building where they run a little skit show that was added at the end of each episode. Yeah, I mentioned that apparently arms microns live in a secret from their bigger partners due to the prime show just being a dub and they couldn't like green screen in the characters with microns. Arms microns are never mentioned by any curtain show with expectation of knockout. In episode 15, Phantom Transformation Skyquake Returns! After Starscream loses an arm, Knockout suggests that Starscream replace his missing limb with an arms micron. Nothing. Maybe it's a pun? Arms as an attempt for weapons, but also limbs. As I mentioned earlier, each minicon came as a plastic sprue for assembly. Most of the time they were one color of plastic, but they did have a unique type of energon crystals. Each energon crystal represents what type of energon is powering the minicon, and each crystal has a different shape, showing what minicon increases different stats in the Transformers Arms Up Mission Online game. Hexagon gave additional attack, Trapezoids gave HP, and Circles gave speed. Okay, with all the basics covered, let's talk about the minicons, one energon color at a time. Light blue represents the basic pure energon. It fuels OP, RA, and B2. OP is a minicon formed out of Optimus Prime's blaster. Kinda is a smaller, less experienced version of him. He often tries his best, but he still has a lot of growth ahead of him. Fun fact, he often quotes the catchphrase of G1 Optimus. The issue is, most of the time OP's ideas aren't the best. RA turns to one of his scalpels, is as cynical as his partner Ratchet. Also, I'm not going to talk about all the toy radecos, since there's way too many of those, but I want to mention RA's brothers, this whole squad of rainbow scalpels, and B2. B2 is cheerful and optimistic, he turns to one of the Bumblebee's blasters, and when the three minicons of the same energy type meet, they can combine to one powerful super weapon. OP, RA and B2 fuse into the Star Saber. No, not the one from the show. In Japan that one was named the Matrix Saber, while RA's brothers fuse into a rainbow shield. I'm sorry Ratchet, but you're unbeating the queer allegations. Bright Salmon represents the red energon, called Fast Energon. A rare subtype that views as fuel overclocks the systems, making a bolt faster and stronger. It fuels the minicons, Shi'er, Beha and Aru. Shi'er is Cliff Jumper's partner, he's like an American tough guy. Imagine something about kid-friendly Duke Nukem. He was formed from Cliff Jumper's arm cannons. Beha is a tough guy you can always rely on. He can form a bulkhead arm cannon or his wrecking ball. Aruk is light pink. 
I don't know why the Taka designs just decided to give her a partner that doesn't match her color scheme. At least later in the series they made a more show accurate silver version. Aruk is just like her bigger partner, RC. She's a headstrong and sometimes gets bossy. But she has a dream of becoming a pop idol. Together they combined the Galaxy Launcher. A giant bazooka, apparently it was wielded by a bot named Tamayatron. Tamayatron is mentioned in the description of this combined mode. It tells about his adventure somewhere around 300 BC, where he used it to teach people of China about fireworks. The issue is, how can he wield his weapon 300 BC when the minicons that form it landed on Earth in 2012? Maybe it was just a different galaxy launcher that worked similarly? Next up we have Natural Energon. Yeah, as you see, Takara need to make up some new energon types for this line. They were never explained, but we can do some head cannoning. Maybe clean energon is like a base, and from it you can brew other types of energon. As we explore the other types of energon, please tell me what are your head cannons for the new energon types. Natural energon powers Breakdown's Hammer Zamu, Megatron's Cannon Gora, and Blaster of Jet Vehicles Ego. Yes, as you notice, Arms Micron keep a theme that appeared in Transformers since way back in G1. All Autobots mold are like little machine men, while Decepticons are single-eyed animal robots. Zamu is a stoic little rhino, there's not a lot to say about him. Ego is... Well, are iguanas? There isn't a lot to say about them, they are just guns of jet vehicles. Gora is a mechanical gorilla that is a rival of OP. He transforms into Megatron's fusion cannon. By the way, do you think Megatron having a gorilla partner is a reference to the term have a monkey on your back as a euphemism for being addicted? Together they combined the Debris Hammer, a giant two-sided bot tenderizer. I'm sure Breakdown would love to get a hand on it. Next up we have the umber colored Energon, the Mud Energon. Yes, Mud, M-U-D. The way it's written in Japanese, Maddo can also be read as Mad, but Hironori Kobayashi stated that he wanted specifically for it to be Mud, the soft earth. With a name like this, maybe it gives abilities related to earth bending, or it lets users swim in earth like water. The mini cons fueled by it are Baro, a buffalo drill slash shield that works with Skywarp, the immature seeker, Gura, a crab minicon, best friend of Zamu, a really easygoing fella that turns into knockout spear, and Ozu, a mammoth that never forgets. He is the partner of Wild Rider, a member of the Santicons, a lone wolf that just loves wrecking havoc. This sadly makes him hard to work with, so most of the time Megatron doesn't want him on the deck of Nemesis. Wild Rider doesn't mind, since he's busy traveling the world to find his Nemesis Wheeljack. He hates him so much that he took up a similar body type to him. After the minicons combine, they form the Asteroid Drill, a giant mining tool that can be also wielded as a dangerous weapon. After that we have the bright green Power Energon. I don't know why, but this color and name reminds me of energy drinks, like Gatorade. Maybe this type of Energon powers up bots outlier abilities. No, stuff like Trailbreaker's Shield or Wind Charger's Magnets. It also powers Ida, partner of Arachnid, a spider, Jida, the Cheetah, Minicon that bonded with Cliffjumper after his death, and Noji, partner of the Land Vehicons, a boar. Ida is the little spider who sees Arachnid as her mom. She's a little manipulator that's always skittering around the base of Autobot Microns, but they don't really mind since they find her rather cute. She transforms into a bladed shield shaped after a spider jaw. Jida, as he mentioned, is a Cheetah. This is the first Micron not based on a weapon from the show since Terror Concave Cliff Jumper never wielded any weapons. And I wonder how Jida felt about it. He gives himself as a weapon for Cliff, just for him to ignore it. Noji is a boar, and as I mentioned, he's the weapon of the land vehicles. I can for sure give props to Takara for designing two different animal formats with two different animal modes, but the same gun mode. Together, the Minicons combined the Lunatic Chainsaw. Next up with the Purple Dark Energon, this one is kind of the show and a really important plot point at the beginning of the aligned continuity. As normal Energon is condensed energy of Primus, Dark Energon is its evil counterpart that came from Unicron. Minicons powered by this type of Energon are Kuru, the eagle partner of Starscream, who is as ambitious and as cowardly as his partner, Zori, Soundwave Scorpion, who forms one of his tentacles, just like Soundwave, most of the time he just kinda lurks in the background, and Gora the second new body given to Gora after Megatron's resurrection. He still is Megatron's fusion cannon, but now he's much bigger. Sadly, he lost his sword bits. Together, the Minicons combined the Planet Bogan, a giant cannon, 
Next up we have the reddish purple color and it's supposed to be fake replicated Dark Energon. Maybe a result of Decepticons trying to recreate Dark Energon, with all Minicons that run on this Energon being just dark red decals of past Minicons. Maybe they are also synthetic, created by Decepticons. We do discover they did some experimenting with Minicons in early 2015, so I'm sure there's some headcanon potential. Also, this team is unique, since it's the only Minicon set without a Speed Minicon and without a super combo weapon. Orange Energon is called the Hard Energon. I think with a name like this, it's rather easy to assume this Energon increases the defense of a bot. Minicons that run on this type of Energon are Bumblebee Sword, Bulkhead Knuckle and Optimus Blaster. Yeah, as you can see, these guys are just smaller versions of their partners. They are technically named Bumblebee, Bulkhead, etc. But TF Wiki and I treat them as new characters, since that works with the lore of Microns. And at least they have a rare title of getting out of Japan and getting released in Europe as blind bag toys. Bumblebee is just a sword, but his buddies actually have some lore thanks to the Transformers Selects manga. Bulkhead Knuckle is a minicon that turns to a giant glove. In a primordial universe, there was a small bot that looked like him. He was a part of the team filled with bulkheads that protected the nature reservoirs, the green planet, while the basic Optimus Blaster doesn't have a story. But his translucent Redeco has one. It was also a warrior of the primordial universe. He was a member of team of red primes that lived on the red planet. Going back to their base versions, the minicons that can combine into a crossbow named the Grand Cross Archer. After that we have the yellow shine energon. Maybe this type of energon causes a bot to glow, like a light bulb. The minicons that run on it are Dado, a turtle shield, Gobu, a cobra axe, and Zado, a lizard axe, maybe. Together they combine into a wormhole whip. After that we have the energon with color that Wiki describes as frosted clear. It goes by two names, Rock and Titan. So maybe some metal bending powers, cosmic powers, I don't know. It having two names isn't the only unique quality about it, since it's the only energy type to fuel a single Minicon. Hades Battenstein Cumberbatch 666, the Lord of Hell, or just Hades in short, is a Minicon whose size is only beaten by the size of his ego. He was the second Minicon given to Megatron after his Dark Energon revival. His bat form can transform into either a giant meteor site or a batwing jetpack. By the way, I love how in this combination the Energon Crystals just go down Megatron's spine like a dark and gothic version of Isaac Clarke's armor from Dead Space. 